Thank you. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? So uh, I work for a company called Vitacup. I'm the vice president of online marketplaces, which simply means I'm the longest person logged into Amazon every day. Um, as the previous panel was uh, talking about, Vita, uh, Amazon is an amazing marketplace. It's an amazing place to do business. And uh, I'm very thankful that the Amazon Global Selling partners here have invited me to share how we have built over the last five years uh, a coffee brand. Um, so back in 2017, our founder, Brandon Fishman, had this interesting idea. Everyone forgets to take their vitamins, but no one forgets to take their coffee. So what he came up with was, would there be able to mix these two products together to give everyone a functional benefit? And this stemmed from his ability, not from his ability, but this stemmed from his uh, frequency of taking vitamins every morning. Um, and at the heart of it, uh, that kind of infused into us what our DNA of just being a company on building a brand about innovation. Whether it's being product innovation, or it's being innovative in the way we take an approach engaging with our customers, or if it's being innovative in the way we take an approach on building um, engagement and analysis with and through Amazon. Um, back in 2018, we launched our first product, uh, our second product, but it was our first that was merging with superfoods. We took MCT oil, turmeric, and we infused them along with the uh, vitamins that were already in our first original products, and we came up with what was called our Genius Blend. It's an amazing coffee that really allows you to cut through brain fog in the morning. It was a keto-friendly coffee, and this is what, the, what really launched our uh, brand to um, mainstream. Not just being settling where owning the being a player in the coffee market, we thought, we already know people are looking for a functional benefit when they're consuming their tea. What if we took tea, added vitamins with it? So, we first, so one of our second longest running products is our green tea. We took matcha moringa and we mixed it with vitamins to just kind of double down on that functionality. Um, we're always looking at expanding and innovating through modality. Uh, about three years ago, we came up with the idea of what if we took our products, not only just had them in a cake cup format, but what if we gave them into an instant pout format so people could just take and get their functionality and, and benefit as they wanted to. So we came out with our slim, genius, and perfect coffees in a uh, instant stick product. Um, one of the products I'm really proud about is we came out with this last year is we, we're continuing to reach, as I talked about, through innovations. We we know there's a mis there is a this this feeling that everyone's like I can't get hydrated and drink coffee. What if we could crack that? So our head of development spent a year reformulating coffee to mix with uh, coconut water, uh, a magnesium we source off the coast of Ireland, and uh, pink Himalayan salt. Um, this was an amazing product to go through on development. I would field test this with my, my family every Sunday as we did a morning uh, hike in the wilderness of San Diego. Um, and it really does hydrate. So as I like to say is you can have your, your coffee and hydration too in the morning. Um, and we're always looking at how can we continue to expand our growth, our market share, and reach more customers and provide more functional needs. We saw a, a growing trend over the last couple of years of coffee alternative. People are looking for substitute coffee um, to give them the same benefit that they would normally get with, a, with coffee without caffeine. So we looked at what was being sold out in the marketplace of people wanting cacao, mushrooms, lion's mane, lion's mane chaga, and the functional benefits from that. And we came out with um, Shroomful. Um, we launched this earlier in the year. This, is, this was my fastest growing product. Um, we were able to build this into uh, doing $50,000 per month in a four-week period. Um, and it continues to grow. We continue to expand. And we know we're, we're hitting it uh, greatly when our major competitors are uh, making very public statements about how horrible our product is. 
Um, and lastly, we just released this last month. It's our, um, I'm going to be sharing a lot more about this, is how we develop products through analyzing data that you can just tap into on Amazon. Um, the beauty is Amazon themselves is being very innovative. They're looking for new ways in which for brands to be able to understand the consumer, understand product uh, opportunities that are developing, and, and making them easier for us to access. 10, 15 years ago, you couldn't get any data out of Amazon. It was, it was all, you're just trying to talk to people using third-party tools. And now all this data resides within Amazon, and it's the, probably the best time to be able to expand and start a business on Amazon. Um, and what we came up with is our Super H2O. This is not actually a coffee. This is a, uh, a water flavor adding product that we've infused with enzymes uh, for bloating relief and gut health. Um, and we're, uh, we just launched it last month. We sold, uh, utilizing the data of Amazon and understanding social media, we were able to sell 3,000 units between Amazon and our website in three days. Um, and we've been, we were lucky enough to be able to rush more product in to have it for big, pro uh, for Prime Day's uh, big deals um, that's happening today. Um, so, biggest question is new brands, brands that are already existing on Amazon. Where do you start? And as I was talking about, it's great. There's a lot of data that you can get from Amazon now. Where to start? Helping you generate ideas on building a brand, building a product. Um, so what I'm going to share with you is how we identified a customer need. Um, the product we just lanced, launched last month, um, Super H2O, um, we developed from customer trends that we actually discovered in our Slim Coffee. Um, our Slim Coffee is actually our number one selling coffee. Um, we uh, are extremely proud of this. And so we have a, a super rich data that we can pull out of Amazon out of it. Um, one of the new tools that Amazon has launched over the last couple of years is called Search Query Performance. Um, and I just to let you know, there's going to be uh, more breakout sessions that are going to be covering all these tools um, tomorrow on day two. So I would check out the breakout sessions. I'd also check out the, uh, the fireside chat that's going to be going on. We're going to be able to discuss and go in these a little bit more. Um, but the search query performance performance is all related to your brand and your products. And Amazon's going to give you these in, a, in different snapshots of data, weekly, monthly, quarterly. Um, we live in it. We started seeing uh, back in 2021, 2022, this trend. Our products started showing relevancy and ranking and sales on this funky term of enzyme coffee. Well, it shows up to me and I'm like, what is enzyme coffee? I know what functional coffee is. I have no idea what enzyme coffee is. So I got together with our head of development, and I said, what's enzyme coffee? She looked at me, and she goes, I know what enzymes are, and you can't put it in a coffee because they'll burn off. So we started doing a little peeling back on it, and what we found was um, there was a lot of cold coffee mixes on TikTok and other social media sites that were creating huge amounts of de demand, and they were all had infused with enzymes for diet and appetite suppression and weight loss management, which our Slim Coffee addresses on a functional need. It was really eye-opening uh, eye because we learned that people, consumers, are searching for functional need over versus mainly the product. So we were able to um, utilize that, and we went into Product Opportunity Explorer, and we were able to look at the bloating relief um, phenomena is going on social media, and we were able to combine the two. We were able to find out if we're able to infuse enzymes into this water flavoring product, communicate it to the customer on social media, on Amazon, we would be able to deliver a product that met a functional need, provided a benefit, and would allow us to grow. Um, which gets us to building products on Amazon. Uh, I want to talk about, like, when we launched Super H2O, we took the data that we learned from Amazon Opportunity Explorer, we looked at the top keyword searches overall, and we used a, th a third-party tool that we, that we feed some of this data into to expand on what the key research, uh, the, key the keywords are, and that's Helium 10. Um, 
Brandon Sutton from Helium Tim will be here in day two, and he will be speaking on, um, on his product, and you can catch more in depth on that. But we took all of this, and we built it into our bullet points, our title. And why is that important? It's important because it allows you to gain more organic customers through these keyword searches. It shows relevancy. And kind of along the lines of where to talk is, um, if you're going to be on Amazon, you're going to have to be engaged with Amazon advertising, which could be PPC and DSP. There's a lot of third-party uh, services that can help you do it on, a, on AI based. We've been using AI advertising for the last five years. Um, and it has been one of the key fundamentals to allowing us to strategically grow. AI advertising can allow you to spin up thousands upon thousands of exact keyword searches and be very uh, direct to your consumers. Um, social media is really big right now. It is it the best way to reach your consumer. Um, I just wanted to point out a couple of things that we've been very successful with on how we do it. Um, Ambassador uh, is a uh, third-party website that we've used over the last five, six years to engage with many influencers. Um, you're going to engage with the influencers, all of them through TikTok, uh, Instagram. We have our own uh, ambassadors that we've built out through influencers and we manage through a third-party website called uh, Grin. Um, we additionally like just leverage it even more by promoting our products through editorials and listicles. Um, we use a, a outside party called Seller Rocket. Um, that allows us to get onto uh, things like BuzzFeed, allows us to get into uh, placements on um, best product reviews dot website. Um, and the key to it, building a brand on Amazon, is how do you build that customer relationship? Because at the end of the day, you can have a great product, but how do you build, acquire, maintain, and stay relevant to that customer? Uh, the, one of the great tools that Amazon released uh, in the last two years was a tool called Customer Engagement. Um, this allows you to send your customers in different specific um, uh, buckets, um, uh, emails through Amazon, delivering them branded, co-branded with you, and you can, hit, you can send your emails to repeat customers, um, your high-end customers who spend a lot of money, or your brand followers. Um, this will be covered more in a, uh, a breakout session tomorrow, and I highly recommend that you, uh, that you uh, come to it. It's going to have a fireside chat that will go a little bit more in depth. Um, another great thing is, is we've been able to directly engage with customers um, is Amazon Live. Street, live stream your own videos within the Amazon uh, platform on the USA, and these show up on your product pages that get attached to it. So for, for prime days that we have going on right now, we are running four to five Amazon Lives over the next two days, and, they, and it's an incredible way for us to showcase our products, communicate to our customers, and hopefully uh, acquire them as a new customer. Um, another great tool that has been uh, recently released, um, this is within the last couple of months, it's called Brand Taylor Promotions. It'll be covered more in depth tomorrow in, um, in the Fireside Chat, but this tool allows you to do offer coupons directly to customer segments. And I think the most innovative one out of this on Amazon's part is, is your cart abandonment. Those people who have, have almost purchased your item, left it in there, you're able to then offer them a coupon of anywhere from 10 to 50% to come back to you to complete the purchase. Um, at Vitacup, we're all about building long-term revenue on Amazon. We're in the coffee market, which is a highly commoditized, highly costly to acquire the first, first customer, and we want to make sure that they return. Um, we're all about understanding our data, understanding our customer and our product repeat trait. Um, we create all of our flows to acquire the customer, to retarget the customer so that they're going to repeat, and then to push them into a subscribe and save path so that every two weeks, every month, those customers are getting their coffee delivered to them on their doorstep by Amazon. Um, and part of the way to do this is we're able to, to, to hash out through uh, Amazon is taking the data and understanding how our, uh, how our advertising is, 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 is being effective. So we partner with our or with Quartile who delivers our advertising on peak times, by hour, by day. 
and allows us to spend and target at the most efficient way possible. Um, and that's important because different products have different selling patterns. Um, uh, there was this case study that Quartile did with us and uh, Choosy Sleep, Sleep Gummy. I, just, I always love talking about this one because it shows how inverse relationship consumers are buying a coffee early in the morning when they need it versus Choosy when customers are buying sleep gummies late in the evening when they're up, top of mind thinking about it, can't get to sleep. 